Hey y'all, I'm Lockleth, and in today's video, I am getting into the game called Moon Glow Bay. But very quickly, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you enjoy my content, want to see every time that I post, make sure to ring that bell. But I am excited to jump into Moon Glow Bay today. It's not something that I've had on my radar, but it has definitely piqued my interest. And it is releasing on April 11th on Nintendo Switch as to when you are watching this. So it is released today. It was developed by Bunny Hug, published by Coat Sync. And I also want to give a big thanks to the publishers for providing me a code to play this for y'all on Nintendo Switch today. But Moon Glow Bay is a cozy fishing RPG that is on the verge of bankruptcy. With only one year until its centennial, they need your help. The town was once the jewel of the eastern Canadian coastline until rumors of dangerous, fantastical creatures ruin the fishing trade. It's up to you to befriend the locals, catch strange fish, cook, sell a variety of recipes, etc to help grow your business and restore life to the coastal town it definitely looks very interesting i love the similarities to minecraft in terms of the blocky style of the game and it just it looks like a just like i said a fishing rpg which i wonder what the rpg piece comes into play for this um, Y'all know that I am into very cozy games, so this is definitely up my alley. So let's just try out Moonglow Bay on Switch. Let's get into it. Ah, oh, this is cute. Okay, so there's no like super deep customization, but we are picking from a variety of just set people, it seems. So who am I? Um, that looks a lot like me, to be fair. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna pick this one. It's cute. Let's pick it. And then this as well. Love to see this. Oh my gosh, it's us! Oh. And then a set partner as well. Very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna pick Maxime. I think that's how you say that. Go with they. Very interesting. Okay, I like that. Oh, like I said, the Minecraft blocky style. A lot more blocky. Then, um, well, I guess a lot more shape than Minecraft, but look at us right now. Maxime Fisher. Lockleth, come on, you guppy. Grab the line. Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? Nothing except for the water, the monsters, the curse. You know what locals say. They're just stories. Every one of them, I promise. Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. First, stand in a decent fishing spot, like at the edge of the boat, right here, then select the fish and hook icon to begin. Oh, there's a dog. We can't see the dog, but I'm, I'm petting. I'm petting a dog. Now to cast the line, fish will be more cautious if you cast near your boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more likely something will bite. Press and hold. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. Okay. Perfect. Now be patient. Keep the lure still and wait for something to bite. The moment it dips, press and hold ZR to hook the fish. Be quick or it might escape. Continue holding ZR to reel it in. Okay. This seems similar to uh, Palea, I believe. Fish will change direction. Oh, we have to go against what they're what they're doing. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Very similar to Palea. Okay, I can I can understand this. Oh, this is cute. Okay, new species, raiding bellyfish. 
See? Easy when you get the hang. Give it a go. This time without my help. Go against the fish. Ooh, a slicing tail. Look at the art of the fish compared to the art of the game. I like the differences. Now I'm guessing we have an inventory. I'm assuming they'll go over later. Fantastic. And a different species will need a variety to cook and sell for our new business. Uh-oh. There's the dog. What's the dog's name? Oh, what is happening? Is this like Dredge? Is Oh. What is that? Is that a whale? It's the monster, the curse, come to torment us. What is happening? It's just a whale. Okay, that's what I thought. Ugh, this town's ridiculous. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. That dog looks like Luna, my dog, and I'm here for it. But the bay's full of amazing creatures, all waiting to be discovered. We'll find them to share them with the world. Ah. On that note, here, to celebrate our new adventure. Oh, a gift. Hmm. Hey, what happened to No More Surprises? Feels like a book. I'll open it tomorrow night, once you're back. Uh-oh. Oh no, I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. You still want this, right? We could always go back to Ontario. Of course, moving here. It's your dream. But I'm asking what you want. What's your dream? My dream hasn't changed in 40 years to spend every day with you. Aww. So we are older. I couldn't tell by the white streak, but it makes sense. Then I'll be right here the whole journey by your side. Welcome home. Oh, I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling, y'all. Something's gonna happen. I have a bad feeling. Three years later. Oh no. Oh please, no. <laughs> no. Okay, it is. It does have a day to day cycle, so it looks like it is currently 9 30 at night. I definitely dislike the vibes right now because I have a bad feeling. It's been three years and we look sad about like what happened. What happened? Oh my gosh, our house is trashed. Is this the book? Oh no. Gotta live on our dog first. River Fisher. Hey, Mom. River, why aren't you in Quebec? Oh, it's our- oh, it's our kiddo. I gave my notice. Some things are more important. Oh, no. She's- she's judging us. <laughs> Is this it? Presumption of the aforementioned. Believed to be dead, owing to an absence of no less than three years. Wow, it's all so real. Oh no, not the to-go. It's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Centennial Festival. You're doing what? Here? In Moonglow? The mayor says it'll be a huge boost for the community. And people need the support. The whole bay's been struggling for years. When the fishing trade collapsed, half the town closed down. If we can't attract new visitors, Moonglow Bay might never recover. Anyways, on to brighter things. <laughs> if River isn't me, like, blah 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 negativity. Also, hey, <laughs> it's time you open that present. Okay, the dog's name is Waffles. Hey mom, why'd you call the dog Waffles? Wait, let me guess, because of how much Maxime loves Waffles? But not much as me. Remember, every Saturday right after swimming, maple syrup, cinnamon, strawberries, glass of milk. Ah, uh, those were some good times. Sorry, what were you saying? 
I wasn't. Her name is Waffles. What a beautiful, perfect name because waffles are better than pancakes, y'all. Better than pancakes, better than French toast. At me if you don't believe. Oh, here we go. Oh, now we're opening it. A fishing journal. To my darling Lockleth for the journey by your side. You've been holding on to this for three years, Mom. Maybe it's time to write a new chapter. You're saying I should restart the business? Precisely, a new street food stall is exactly what this town needs. You would be an inspiration. We should head out right now. Catch some ingredients. Okay, okay, but let me tidy first. If I'd known you were coming and ruin the surprise, heh, <laughs> okay. I'll be down on the beach. So we opened up our present and it looks like a journal. I love that this all takes place in Canada as well. If y'all didn't know, I'm part of Carpool Gaming, which is based out of Canada, essentially. Most of the hosts, a lot of the community um, are from there. Feels, feels a little close, closer to them. I'll add a Carpool Gaming's channel in the description in case you were curious to see my face other than over here. Hi, Maxime. It's been three years. Some days are a little easier. Others are impossible. Last week, a letter arrived declaring you dead in absentia, meaning they couldn't find you. So naturally, our daughter dropped everything to come here. Thank you for my journal. I'll treasure it always and write to you often. Our daughter has suggested I restart the street food business. I know a great little spot to catch some ingredients. Tidy up the noodle packets. Oh gosh, if that's not real. I threw away so much junk mail earlier, y'all, so... And then we've got, oh look, it's us. We still have the fish that we caught at the start. We've got different recipes. Oh, it looks like potatoes. It's also an ingredient. So I wonder if we buy potatoes or if we grow them. And then here's info on the fish. And then we haven't opened the map yet. <gasps> You okay, Mom? You look a bit lost. Yeah, I'm just looking for the, um, you know, that place that sells the things. If you're looking for somewhere specific, just check out your map. Your map displays all shops, business, and points of interest. Okay. Very black and white looking map, but I do like that it tells you the name of the areas as well as kind of what's there. Okay, so... First task is to clean up all the garbage. It is quite embarrassing, <laughs> but this is definitely similar uh, to me throwing away so much junk mail. Look at all these to-go containers. I still need to do dishes, like I am feeling I'm, I'm feeling like I'm being perceived <laughs> in the worst way. Oh gosh, that's the last of it. The trash can's outside since you clearly forgot. Pet waffles for support with the trash can. Brilliant. Oh, is that a raccoon? Is that a raccoon in our trash? Okay, now we're, now we're kind of like running. Oh, interesting. Get to waste time. That's similar to Octopia. When you sit down on a bench, you um, let time pass. Okay, let me properly pet you, Waffles. Get out of here, raccoons. Please. Oh, this is so cute. And Waffles follows us around. I love it. Oh, a deer. <gasps> Where's that freaking raccoon again? Go away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Go up here. It's up here, though. Oh, wow. What used to be probably a business, I assume. A lot of empty buildings. <gasps> Hello? Huh. Wilhelmina Thorn. Hey, Lockleth, I've got one for your journal, The Ghostly Swordfish. What's ghostly about it? All sorts. It's red eyes, it's haunted expression. Plus it gives everyone the heebie-jeebies. 
Okay, for now I'm just gonna put the name. Okay, we got a new fish. So many critters around. Oh, here's our boat, I guess, our boat. This is definitely similar to Palea in regards to directions. It kind of just points you in that way. You were right, the streets are so empty, I barely noticed before. The town needs investment, pure and simple, but at least you have everything you need for your business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. First things first, let's catch some ingredients. Uh, waffles is gonna sit right there? Oh, I was supposed to hold that down and I did not. Let me reel that in and try again. I don't think we use stamina. I haven't really noticed. There we go. That's better. You can use a quick burst of effort to haul the fish in a particular direction. This technique is called striking. To strike, move against the direction. Yep. Okay. Then press ZL. Oh, just don't strike too often or you'll tire yourself out. Where's our... Uh, Stamina. Why does it keep having us do this? We're gonna tire ourselves out. This fish better be great. Ling is the species. Interesting, okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I know it's light on actual info. I'm an accountant, not a blooming marine biologist. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm sure the aquarium can help f fill in the details. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and luring. When reeling a fish, it will behave in one of three ways, depending on its species. Fast species will dart around quickly to wriggle free. Reflexes are key. Aggressive species will use a combo of speed and strength to escape. Finally, resilience species are slow moving but strong it'll take several powerful strikes to haul one in give it a go select a lure and cast your line the jig lure will attract aggressive and resilience spinner fast and aggressive plug will attract resilient and fast i'm not gonna remember that the jig is what we're using now well, we caught a fast fish, so maybe we should do that one. Ooh, okay, we got a, a ling again. Perfect, finally a word on bait. Baiting your line is essential to catching larger species. There are two types, low and high grade. If you cast with no bait, you will attract small species only. If you cast with low grade bait, you'll attract small and medium. And if with high, medium, and large. Try it now. Select a lure and bait grade and cast your line again. Um, Spinner. With... A uh, high? Oh, we don't have any. We only have low. Okay. Is it going to be a big fish? Oh, well, we only have medium and small, so never mind. Uh, another ling. Okay. Excellent. Remember, there's a huge range of sea creatures out there, so mix up your lure, bait, and location to catch a variety. Oh, so location's part of it, too. Interesting. Just be aware that your bait is limited. Be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high-grade bait in particular will be in short supply. Oh. Whoa, stop the press. Lachlan Fisher is out the house before midday. Hey, Abby, you remember a river? Ooh. Of course, where brings you to our shabby little burg. Wait, Lachlan, is that... You finally opened it. Huh. It's a fishing journal. Maxime and I had a thing for these waters once. In fact, I'm reviving the business, selling street food straight from the ocean. Lockleth, you are gonna... Nice. Thanks, Abby. She laughed at us, really. Sorry, sorry, but in three years, you never once struck me as outdoorsy. 
Maybe it's time for a change. Yeah. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're gonna peddle piscine cuisine, well, fish cuisine, from the most cursed cove in Canada, <laughs> I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. New task is learning how to cook. Well, hello, waffles. All the attention. All right. If you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your best friend. To create a meal, you need three things. Raw fish, recipe, and shells to cover the cost of any extra ingredients. Collected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose which meals you want to make. Okay, so we don't have any potatoes, so we can't make fish and chips, which is a dang shame. But we can make fish cakes. Oh my gosh, I haven't had lunch yet, y'all. And this is making me hungry. Let's do our ling, since we have several. And we'll do... we'll do two of them. Oh, you can batch cook up to four. Okay. Your kitchen is always stocked with supply, so the only ingredients you need to source are the fish. Okay. So no farming for us. First go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. Oh, that's cute. We literally go to the... F I like that. I like that. Also, the penguin on the top of the fridge. Adorable. Now, move to the different stations around the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. And be precise. Mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sale value. <gasps> Washing move to follow the marker and rinse the ingredients. Oh, oh my gosh. It's mini games for washing your hands. Oh my god, I- this is- this is- this is like- this is like Stardew Valley fishing. I don't know how I feel. Rest when the marker is in each zone. Okay, chopping is easy. Washing your hands is not, apparently. Oh my god. These are all fishing mini games. It's Stardew Valley fishing, but in five steps. Okay, I got in the green on that one at least. Uh, and then fry. Hold, then release when the marker reaches the hit zone. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's easy. And then bake. Press when the marker reaches the hit zone. Okay. Nice. We need to fix our washing of hands and boiling. Those are the hardest ones. Great, there are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. We made two fish cakes. <laughs> Finally, always remember to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will have to do for now. Task complete. We did it, Waffles. We did it. Oh, no, we're not doing that. We're going to put in two of those. Hey. Perfect. Here you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day and the shells you earn will be transferred directly to your account. Oh, so shells is the currency. Very interesting. Hmm, this old box isn't very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. Haru Go2 runs the tech shop. He'll give you a good deal. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawler. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. Finally, for info about fish species and filling in your journal, speak to Marina at the aquarium. Lockleth, you're really serious about this? No one's been out of these waters for... three years. Since Maxime, I know. There are dozens, hundreds of strange and dangerous creatures out there. And we both know what it's like to lose someone. I'll be okay, trust me. So, Sarah, Haru, and Marina. I'll see you soon. And who are you, sir? Hello, Claude. Have you had a chance to stop by my street food stall? Nah, I'm not really interested in all that fancy seasoning and spice. Oh, he's got a, a French name. Claude Duchamp? Oh, there's plenty of options. What's your favorite dish? Crab rice. Rice and crab in a bowl. Nice and simple. Okay, crab rice it is. I'll whip up a batch and see you soon.
Oh, they have specific needs. Who are you? Child. Oh no, it's a, it's an old lady. Mrs. Miss Chips. Oh, hello. You must be the owner of that delightful yellow pup. Yeah, Waffles. He's a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. Love to see it. He likes chasing birds, barking at the front door, and rubs. I'm Lockleth, by the way. I run a small street food business. In fact, I'm looking for new customers. Is there anything you'd like to try? Absolutely, but nothing too sp rich or spicy. How about steamed fish? Okay, steamed fish, crab and rice. There was a child back here, someone. Hello? You know, uh, you want to know about strange and evil fish, right? Check out the wandering Kennebec. I've seen fish and that ain't no fish. That thing is a potato, which makes it a vegetable and a liar. <gasps> oh. Waffles, come on. Come on, waff Waffles. Come on, Waffles. Where do you... Come on, buddy. I guess he really likes her. I guess we'll, we'll keep her there then. Uh, we need to head in this direction, I guess. So much trash on the beach. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck down here. I'm stuck down here. I'm stuck down here. How do, how do, okay, there we go. Hello? Casper. Hey, Miss Fisher. Sorry, I gotta be somewhere. Bye. Oh, okay. Huh. Melissa. Hey, if you're interested in weird fish, check out the zebras. Unmistakable. Looks just like a zebra. Same stripes, tail, fins. Mm -hmm. The same fins as a zebra? Aww. I know, weird, right? Yeah, very strange. But we're learning about fish. Okay. Oh, here we are. Sarah Johnson. Here we go. Hey, Lockleth. Um, Fisher, and hello to you, Sarah. Johnson. Been a while, huh? Finally come to collect your traveler? Exactly. The two cats. Seriously? I thought I was making a joke. Clearly not a very funny one. In that case, let me find your paperwork. The two cats. Yes. Clogged fuel pump and the intake valve is shot. For three years storage, you got off easy. It'll be a hundred shells for the repairs. You can pay once I finish the work. A hundred? Are you sure? That seems low. Yeah, don't worry. It's the least for Maxine. Okay, so they will repair our boat. Welcome! Apologies, the aquarium isn't open for visitors. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I'm looking for a marina. At your service, wait. Lockleth, right? Maxime's wife? Maxime was the soul of this place, the only sailor unfazed by all the legends. Someone who truly recognized the potential of both the aquarium and Moonglow. Potential for what? To be famous, there are countless species out there unique to these waters. Just a handful would make the aquarium a huge tourist attraction. But when Maxime vanished, those dreams vanished too. How can I help? I'm fishing for my seafood business anyways. I could continue where Maxime left off. Wow, that would be incredible, but it's a huge undertaking. Quite simply, the aquarium needs new species, as many as you can find. The more unique creatures we house, the more new visitors we'll attract. Business across town would benefit, including yours. Every new species you bring will boost your sales. Great, where do I start? To begin, just bring me three new species. Well, looky here, we've got three exact species with us. I've got three. Mm-hmm, I've got them. I've got my fish. Fantastic! This place is finally coming alive. I can't wait to tell Olivia. At this rate, I'll need to buy a whole new wing. Just remember, when you catch a new species, bring it straight here. I think I can handle it. Oh my gosh, is that the big... The skeleton above us. Is that the big whale that is the myth that everyone is concerned about? Also, do we get to see the fish? I guess she's not like Blathers. She needs a little bit more time to enter the fish in, so let's let's leave. Alright, we did those things. Let's go to this other task, I guess. We passed it earlier. Is this... Haru, yes. Hey boss, thanks again for the fish and chips. Thank you for the vending machine. Let me know if you'd like to try something a bit more outlandish. Nah, I'm not too keen on seafood. What about mussels? Nope. Shrimp? Ugh. 
Lobster? Hmm, I've never tried lobster. That settles it. One boiled lobster coming up. And if you don't like it, you'll give it back to the vending machine. Uh, no. But I promise I'll stop trying to make you new things. Okay, we spoke spoke to him, but can we... Oh yeah, here we go. The cutscene. Ah, Lockleth. Long time no see. What can I help you with? He's listening to music. I love that. Selling fish. Fish? Yes, fish. Why are we whispering? It's been so long since anyone sailed the bay. What are you currently using? Not much. My storefront is basically a storage box in an honor system. Oh, that's just sad. What you need is a windowed polyvend. A vending machine for seafood? Absolutely, my dad ordered a few on special import. But with half the town shut down, our three units in stock are proving tricky to shift. Tell you what, cook up and bring me simple fish and chips. Maybe I can swing you a new customer discount on the display model. Oh, okay. We should have came here first. Uh, we need potatoes. Maybe a potato fish to make fish and chips? I'm not sure. Sounds more like a cooking you lunch discount, but okay. I think that discussion we had with Haru earlier um, was not needed yet because apparently he doesn't like fish. So, do we catch some more fish or do we go home? And we can also move the camera around and why am I just noticing this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I could have been moving the camera this entire time. <gasps> Just to see like the storefronts and things. I I am not used to uh uh what do you call it? The 1900, you know, hours. So it's almost eight o'clock. I wonder if I can fish another fish. Fish another fish? Yes, Brill. Let's see if I can can I fish anywhere or can't pick anything up on the beach, it seems. Oh, here's a fishing spot. Ah, there's certain points. Okay. Let's do do a jig and a low bait. Okay, let's try it. A purple tail. We can probably make Haru that fish now, so one more fish and then we'll call it. Oh, <gasps> we call it a new species. Oh. Okay, we're gonna stop fishing. We gotta head home. Hey, waffles. Okay, let's attempt to make this food. We'll use the purple tail because we've already donated one of those. Okay, get fish. Chop. Uh, fry. Ooh, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, get potatoes. Chop. Okay, we're good at chopping. Boil is hard. Boiling is so difficult. How do we... Oh my god, I'm terrible at boiling. Wow. <laughs> Fish and chips. <laughs> oh, this is the dog bed. That's cute. Okay, yeah, let's go to sleep. Let's set the alarm for... Yeah, morning. <gasps> you can set the alarm time. That's precious. Oh my gosh, and Waffles ran downstairs. Good morning. We made our fish and chips. We have a new jellyfish we need to donate. And that is where I'm going to end today's video. We played the very first day of Moonglow Bay. It seems very cute, very interesting. And I'm playing it on Switch and seems to be pretty decent on Switch as well. That is always my concern with every new game I play on Switch. But I want to give the publishers, again, a big thanks to them for providing me a code and playing this for y'all. This looks like a cutesy version of Dredge with the style of Minecraft, potentially. It looks so cute. 
And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of Moon Glow Bay, if you're going to give it a chance. All the links are in the description box, of course. Go check it out. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you.